Welcome to the Allison and Robert McNon Hall of Gems and Minerals. Gotta look at this, beautiful. So this has been three years in the making over here to absolutely renovate the entire hall filled with one of the more precious minerals that you'll see one of the most expensive gems here in New York City. Things that come from all around the world that are millions of years old. I'm Ariel, this is Urbanist, and let me know where you're watching from. And let me explore with all of you also a little hidden gem of a story here in this hall of one of the biggest heists in American history. So here's a giant geode, 135 million years old. And these were found in Uruguay. And look how magical they are. I absolutely love that the hall starts with this huge, huge piece of rock. Debbie, you love the huge purple rock one. I am so glad you do. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> hey, Ronald, nice to see you here. Welcome. <laughs> I got a paparazzi. Yes, I was filming you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kiata of New York City for All. <laughs> hey, world, what's yeah. up? And she's also an amazing TikToker. Check her out. Where, where can people find your TikToks at? New this? York City for all. New York City for all. For all. Yes. Yeah. Are you Thank enjoying? You. Are you enjoying the exhibition? Absolutely. Yes. You are? Yeah. It's beautiful. I mean, I think you have a little bit of rocks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. On your, mask. On your mask. <laughs> I can't wait to check out your TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stay tuned for that. All right. We continue walking right. around. Gigi says she looks lovely. Indeed she does. Look at the amazing fashion sense. <laughs> so many content creators here, says Trisha. Yeah, indeed, so many content creators here. So here's one from Australia. And these are, are Bikilis. Might be mispronouncing that. But these are similar to tree rings that are formed sometimes from the crystallization process and sometimes they form around foreign rocks that are embedded into this larger one. Hey Helen, hello Janice, nice to see you here, welcome. So see the intro video? Ooh, we got some gold. So they were so kind enough to let me go live here. Uh, so uh, if you're enjoying this live video, do consider either coming here yourself and enjoying the museum. It's a wonderful museum, definitely one of my favorites. And I've said that many times, it's truly magical. I've been coming here ever since I was a little kid and going to the dinosaur exhibit on the fourth floor. And I'm gonna show you a gem that I was struck by even when I was little. Or if you can't come here, I know people will watch for various reasons. Uh, do consider leaving them at least like a five stars on TripAdvisor or, uh, or Google reviews and say, oh, I love the museum or whatever you got from this video. <laughs> Ronald, you say this place rocks. Indeed it does. <laughs> and I'm going to show you some hidden gems as well. <laughs> Hey, Stefano, some people say that rocks aren't fun. Watch the stream, now talk to me again, says Stefano. <laughs> Indeed, rocks are fun. You know, we're going to have a good rocking time today. Indeed we are. Hey, Andre, nice to see you here. 
Trisha has a great tip. She says, tip if you're a New York City resident, interest is a donation. Yeah, you gotta show ID if you're, you're a tri-state resident. It includes Connecticut and New Jersey. So here's a stone that shimmers. I'll read a little bit about it. It's called Labr Labra Dorite. Labra Dorite. This spectacular pillar of labradorite rock comes from a large body of an anorthosite, <laughs> a type of in, ingenious, ingenious rock. Ooh, a lot of new terms I've never seen before. The block's in, her, iridescence is due to a light scattering from submicroscopic layers with different chemical compositions, which separate from one another as the minerals cool down. The unusually large crystals in the block up to a foot in length means that the specimen is also a, uh-oh, new word as well, Peg pegmatite. This kind of looks like a, the paperweights. <laughs> <laughs> that my dad used to have in his office. <laughs> APN says, we will, we will rock you. Indeed we will. <laughs> Cue the song. Oh, I love this. So th I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this. Uh, we're going to take our sweet time walking around. Uh, this is by no means a comprehensive tour. I bet they do tours here as well. Uh, but if you want me to point the camera anywhere, do let me know. And uh, Sunshine says, we're all rock stars here today. Indeed, we are rock stars here today. We are, yes. Do let me know your best rock puns. Rock us with your best pun. And slam that like button as you would slam this on a bunch of papers if it were a gigantic paperweight. Are we finding a pet rock? So Roland, that is interesting. You know, there. Are, uh, I was watching the intro video, and they were saying that there are more rocks here, different varieties of rocks and minerals than anywhere else on the solar system. So we have a huge diversity of rocks. So I think Earth is the best place to get yourself a good pet rock. Hey, Susu says, thanks for the stream. Plan on going there soon. Just got four free tickets because you're uh, vaccinated. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you are able to get free tickets because of uh, uh, vaccination. And that's awesome to hear. That's awesome to hear. Gorgeous. I love him, says Wendy. Stefano says, the closest thing I will own to compare to these things is a gold plated rock. I don't think you should... Uh Give up your hopes, Stefano. Some of these rocks, you can you can find them in your very backyard. Depends on where you live, but here they definitely have basically every single rock. So I am sure you can find some of these in your backyard. 100%. Wow, beautiful. Look at that one. Ooh, you can even see the shine. Loma says, you rock. Thank you so much. We won't take Ariel for granted. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm gonna like say that to everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for not taking me for granted. You are golden. I love seeing all these piles of schist all around oh my god look at that one so ronel says so we're hitting more rocks with one bird <laughs> indeed we are oh my god Wow, I'm just, I'm just amazed. So, this has been in renovation for three years, a little bit more than that. And the older exhibit was much older, and it was much darker. So, if you remember going to the older one, you might realize, oh, wait a minute, now I can see the rocks in full clarity. It's absolutely amazing how they made this new exhibit.
Jen says, just rules. Yes, indeed. Indeed. You can say that this exhibition is the schist. Will this get a stone, says Ronald. Maybe. Fair warning. You may get stoned watching this broadcast. It's because, because we're seeing stones. Not anything else. Don't, don't misinterpret that. Wow, what is this one? Let's see. Number five. Number five is Prite. Uh, found in Colorado. Prite. Found in Colorado. I like this one, how it's so bubbly. Justin says, uh, this is a different kind of rock. Yeah, it is. So I'm surrounded by content creators, which is amazing. Lots of Instagrammers here, wild and Instagrammers in the wild, TikTokers in the wild as well. I think I'm the only, I'm one of two, one of three live streamers. This one looks like a flower. Oh. What's the blue one? Okay, I'll show you the blue one. So over here, number 10, uh, CBS, what's the blue one? Number 10, number 10 is Azurite Sun Concentration from Alice Springs, Northern Territory, Australia. Oh, I can already tell the Australia rocks with all their rocks. I can already tell that Australia is quite a hidden gem. These are colorful, look at that. So I can show you a bunch of different rocks here, but do you want to see the most expensive ones before we continue on with this journey? Uh, don't get too comfortable with these other rocks. Don't fall in love with any of them first because there's some of the most expensive and the biggest of its kind here in this exhibit. And something transpired here many, many years ago. Let me know if you want to see the hidden gem within this hall of gems. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. It's big. Uh, uh, these can get bigger. Wendy says, I like expensive. Ooh, I'm glad you do. On the night of October 29th, 1964, two gentlemen, Alan Dale Kuhn, and Jack Rommel Murphy came in through the fourth floor window. And what did they do here back then? Well, this is one of the more expensive sapphires in the entire world. This is the Star of India, the largest sapphire in the world. 563 carats. It's the largest gem quality star, star sapphire known to man. And it's well defined for a star in the center. We look around. Here we have the DeLong Star Ruby. This magnificent DeLong Star Ruby is known for a strong star and unusual large size. It comes from Myanmar. It's a frame source with finest rubies. The star is displayed both here and with the Star of India. 
And it also has this star shape. The DeLong Ruby. And here, we have a few of them. But this one is one of the more important ones. So we have more of the star formations. But this is one of the larger black rubies or sapphires. One of the largest black star sapphires in the world. Or gem quality at least. So do you guys remember the movie uh, Point Break? Let me know if anyone remembers this amazing movie. If you don't know what Point Break is, it's a movie where Keanu Reeves, one of my favorite actors, he also uh, lives in New York at least for some time, um, he is a detective who has to infiltrate a team of surfers. But why is a detective infiltrating some team of surfers? Well, it's because these team of surfers are robbers. They are committing heists all around uh, California. Well, you might think when you see that movie, oh, that's merely fiction. No way can a surfer ever become a robber. No way a surfer can make a huge heist. Well, as I mentioned, those two gentlemen, 1960s, Jack Murphy was such a surfer. And he was pretty well known in those parts out west as being a cool surfer. He looked like a surfer. He definitely had the surfer accent. And he came in with his friend through one of the windows. And there's no more windows here in this new exhibition. But you can just imagine the older exhibition, there was windows. They climbed up through to the fire escape when there used to be fire escapes. And they tried to dodge all the alarms, the silent alarms. They came in and went right over here. And it was placed almost the same place with the original exhibition, almost right in the center. And they stole all these gems. At that time, they were worth $400,000. Today's money, that would be three million. And they took the Star of India, the Ruby of DeLong, and a Black Sapphire, and a few others. But they didn't keep it for long because suspicions were raised. They managed to escape unscathed. They took taxis, separate taxis, and went on their way. But when they got back to their apartment that was being rented on a, I think it was a daily or weekly basis, they were spending a whole lot of money. They were getting a little bit too excited and the landlord was suspicious. So he they were reported. And then a bunch of stuff happened and they found these gems in a bus station and that's how they were able to retrieve them luckily so we can see them today so yes a surfer and also a violin virtuoso because his friend was a violin virtuoso stole one of the most expensive rocks in american history so point break is not completely uh, fabrication <laughs> at least at least not completely wow So what ended up happening with Jack Murphy, the surfer uh, of this uh, duo of heist, and they had a third guy who was the getaway driver. Um, Jack Murphy actually ended up becoming wanted for murder down south and being uh, convicted for murder. But he was actually let go early 
because Jack Murphy, the surfer turned heist uh, planner, <laughs> end up uh, becoming, what he said, born again and uh, had a new calling to help prisoners. And you can actually find videos of this guy, Jack Murphy, all around YT. Uh, he helps prisoners um, kind of adjust to their lives and a bunch of other things. He's, he's doing good, but yeah, he, he did, did quite a lot of bad as well. So he's, he's redeeming himself. He's become a public figure. So it's very interesting. He's, I think he might still be alive. And I saw like a YT video of him uh, just uh, like a year or two ago. Catherine says, wow, I didn't know that story. The surface in which those gems are displayed looks rocky. <laughs> Love your shirt, says uh, Mandy. Yep, I have gorillas on my shirt because we're in the American Museum of Natural History and we come from primates. So I'm playing homage to our ancestors, the great ape. Stefano asks, have you ever been to Confusion Hill? Oh, I don't know what Confusion Hill is. So these are the collection of what appears to be JP Morgan? Look at that, wow. JP Morgan, one of the more richest men in American history. And here it is, oh my God, here's the heart shape. Morganite, and it comes from Madagascar. And JP Morgan owned this. Oh my god! There's a 1975 uh, movie on the theft called Murph to Surf, says uh, Mags. Thank you so much, Mags. Yes. And then uh, the other guy, Alan, co wrote a movie as well. If anyone else could put the name into the comments. But look at that beautiful heart-shaped Morganite. Wow. Now that's a way to propose to someone. Justin, Justin Pollock leaves a quote by J.P. Morgan. Is this quote real, Justin? So Justin says, apparently says that J.P. Morgan said, Millionaires don't use astrology. Billionaires do. Interesting. I wouldn't doubt it because he was, he had a lot of astrology symbolism in the Morgan Library. I love this store. So interesting, says Debbie. I'm so glad. So now that I've shown you the most expensive of the rocks here, uh, now we can, we can more peacefully see the rest of the exhibition. So this is spodumene, spodumene, spodumene. Easy split, but difficult to fashion. Spodumene. The heart from the Titanic is here. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it is. It's here somewhere, yeah. Oh, so Mags, uh, thank you for letting us know. Jack Murphy did die last year. Oh, interesting.
beautiful. Oh, look how huge this one is. This is quartz, ladies and gentlemen. Quartz, crucial to our computing industry. So abundant in Earth's crust, quartz is found in many environments. The gem forms of quartz that occur as crystals that can be of various colors and hues. The colors derive mainly from natural radiation, heat, and trace contaminants. All quartz is hard with no cleavage. Hmm. Oh, I wonder what they mean by cleavage. And making it durable, sought after gemstones. That's what it says. Beautiful. So you know how in um, in like esoteric circles and, and people talk about magic or or spirituality or or astrology or tarot, whatever. Uh, a lot of people mention that they get some power from crystals, and they say they get so and so. They get like love, or they get a feeling of, of, of focus, whatever. And you would think that's complete hogwash. Maybe the focus and the love part might be. But quartz over here literally powers our world of computing. If it weren't for quartz, we would not have computers. And if it weren't for a few other minerals as well. But the reason our computers work, and also clocks before them, is because of these guys over here. So we literally use phones, I'm literally making a live video transmitted across the world to all of you, thousands of people from all around the world, and you're watching it on your own device because of this. Literally, a crystal powers our world. Think about that. So next time you say, oh, crystals, ah, hogwash, they're just a rock. Well, <laughs> maybe when that person's talking about in that context. But if you think about it, they're not just a rock. They literally power the world. Zapato says, Sagittarius, where's my stone? We'll see, maybe we'll see it, yeah. Right the, these are garnets, garnets. Justin Pollock says, rocks rock. And this is topaz, ooh, topaz, nice. So here we're seeing a lot of the famous rocks. The ones that a lot of people know. Adam says, not all crystals are rocks. Hashtag not all rocks. beautiful yeah it's absolutely gorgeous so we have a little bit left by no means this is a comprehensive view but i hope you got to see enough of it here is jade oh my god absolutely love jade i i'm not sure if people can tell i'm a huge fan of green objects so you have a lot of green jackets and jade i gravitate towards jade 
Veronica says, very beautiful indeed. I want to go mining in Colorado, says BB. That's so cool, BB. How does one go about doing that? That's so cool. Ooh, I didn't know Jade came all different shades of green. Look at this. Jade even comes in white. So are we dividing the loot, says Ronald. <laughs> I can never neither confirm nor deny that statement, Ronald. What's your birth gemstone, says Veronica. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a Gemini, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I have one. <laughs> Andrew says, out of all the gems, you are the best, says Andrew. <laughs> Thank you so much. So Yogi, my birthday is in June. So let me know what's the gemstone with June. These are garnets. And look at this. Here's the Melissa and Keith Meister Gallery. Let's check it out. Would you live in a home with green walls, green doors, etc., says Judith? I think I will, yeah. Just like a hobbit, yes. So man says, moonstones are for Geminis, thank you. Dragonflies. Hey, I have logs. Nice to see you here. MJ, Mary Jane, nice to see you here. Uh, yes, it is my birth month. Thank you so much for the birth month wish it, wishes. I appreciate it. Everyone stay tuned. Stay tuned on Saturday at 6 p.m. We'll be doing a series of live videos on each of our channels, including mine, I have vlogs, and Manny Explorers and Action Kid. Uh, we are going to have a huge Filipino uh, lechon, which is a uh, pork roast. Uh, it's a classic Filipino dish in honor of all the amazing Filipino Americans here in uh, New York City. So check that out. 6 p.m. on Saturday. Stay tuned. How much is one gemstone in the gift shop? <laughs> I'm not sure if they have a gift shop with gemstones. That's a good question. They probably have a book on it. Great question. Uh, Gigi says, I'm excited for that stream. I'm so glad you are. I'm so glad you are. Wow. I'm just in love with this exhibit. I could tell, totally spend an hour or two here. Well, I basically already have, but uh, just looking at it, I could definitely do that. Timothy says, happy birthday. Today's, and it's not my birthday yet, <laughs> but it is my birth month. 
Susie says this someone say pork yeah we're gonna have a pork roast Susie it's very similar to uh, Puerto Rican panadine or Puerto Rican lechon actually very similar we'll learn more about that on Saturday all right which one do you guys want pick let me know which one do you want speak now or forever hold your peace I showed you a bunch of stones you can pick any that you wish we're doing a huge giveaway <laughs> A la Oprah, you get a gemstone, and you get a gemstone, Zabato, and you get a gemstone, George, and you get a gemstone, Wendy, and you, Lauren, get a gemstone, and Kay, you get a gemstone as well. And you, Bob, get a gemstone as well. Yep, we're giving a gemstone to Bob. Oh, we got a diamond. Yogi says, damn, todos. <laughs> Sadie wants a diamond. Oh, Sadie, we got the diamond for you. A diamond in the rough, literally, it's very rough. Janice went like a big jade. <laughs> Janice, yeah. Indeed. Enjoy, Janice. Barb, I want the big purple geode. <laughs> Me too. I feel you. I feel you. Low Bob would love one, says Susan. Oh! I'm so glad. People don't know, Susan is a mega urbanist and she has a, Susan is a parakeet, do correct me, uh, or a little parrot, it's, and his name is Lil Bob, named after the great Bob of urbanist. Hey Savannah, nice to see you here. All right, let me show you this one. Would you able, will you be able to keep Bob the lifestyle that he's accustomed to, says uh, Renee. <laughs> It'll be tough. Uh, Zapato says, I'm giving my wife a wood ring. <laughs> Zapato, that, that sounds very romantic, Zapato. Very romantic. I'll take the gold one if no one wants this in a little moment. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that one. Looks hairy. And if you're watching the replay and you're wondering, what is this guy talking about? Why is he, why is he saying random jokes and they're not, they're not funny, there's a puns and, and he's talking about bombs and pigeons and giving rocks away. What is he talking about? Well, if you're watching this replay, dear replay viewer, if you've never seen Urbanist before, these are meant to be live videos. So they're not meant to be lectures. They're for fun, to enjoy life as if you were walking around with a friend. Um, and that's the point of these videos. So if you're looking for a lecture, if you're looking for some type of academic tour, look elsewhere. Here, we have fun. And you get a gem as well, dear replay viewer. Wendy says LOL. Ronald says, do not take your future wife there. <laughs> That'll be a good romantic movie. Why isn't there a romantic comedy that's also a heist film where a man takes his, he wants to propose this to his girlfriend and he takes her to the hall of gems and minerals on the beautiful night in the summer here in New York City. And he asks her, kind of jokingly, they're having a fun, romantic time. It's all, you know, giggles. And he asks her, hey, which one do you want? And she thinks, oh, he's role-playing again. We're having a little bit of fun. And she picks one. And suddenly the museum starts closing down. He starts taking a series of tools. And the entire film turns from a romantic comedy into a heist film. Let me know, where you, would you watch that? 
Yeah. Renee, oh yeah, Renee, there, there is actually a series of films that are romantic comedies. And uh, not romantic comedies, but romantic uh, heist films, yeah. Thomas Crown Affair and Entra Entrapment. Thank you so much, Renee. Sadia says I should write that movie. <laughs> It'd be a great movie. All right, so we basically did the entire roundabout. I'll show you this one. <laughs> Renee says Ariel and Jennifer Lopez would watch that. <laughs> Renee. All right, so let's show you just quickly these and then we'll end right by the geode. This guy, I wanna take this guy home. <laughs> Renee says with the chat interrupting in mid, in mid heist. <laughs> Can we see a large slice of petrified wood? <laughs> Paul, that's a very specific request. I'm not sure if they have that here. Good question. They probably have that in the other section, though I'm not really allowed to kind of roam in the museum at night. It won't, it won't turn to night of the museum, unfortunately. Security is tight. <laughs> Look at this, a tremendous topaz, that's what it's called. It was found in Brazil. La Minas Herias. This enormous specimen from the Minas Herias is one of the largest single crystals of topaz in any museum in the world. So big I can't even fit it full in frame. It's over 600 pounds. That's 270 kilograms for anyone who is European. It is an example of how large the crystals are and pegamites can grow. This and several giant topazes are collected from the Minas Herias are prized parts of the museum collections all around the world. Wow, that's amazing. A giant topaz, not too heavy, you know, 600 pounds. It could definitely like hold on someone's ring finger. All right. Wow. Ooh, what is this? Yeah, the beautiful things of nature says Ed. Yeah, it is. Love purple. Yeah, I love purple too. Highly agree. It's a gift shop open. No, right now this is a preview, private preview. So no gift shop here. Another Harry Jim. Yeah, indeed. Oh, petrified wood. Okay. So Paul, you are in luck. We have found wood petrifies. I did not think. Sorry for thinking your comment was a sarcastic question do not to do not know about petrified wood and here it is they turn into stone so i know Zabato is gonna love this Zabato, you want to give your wife a wood ring here give her a petrified wood which one will you take home says adam uh the jade actually i would take the giant geode the giant geode looks cool have that in the middle of the home? Oh yeah. <laughs> it 
And here are fossils. Wow, a lot of stuff here. It reminds me of sweet potato, says, uh, says Judith. Yeah, it has a sweet potato look over here. Yeah, this one, yeah, you're right. It does look like sweet potato, the inside. The stream is solid, says Jason. Thank God for the New York City cell quality. And it seems like the museum has improved their cell service inside here, which is nice. Aren't the Himalayas in Pakistan too? Yeah, they are, BB. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Here is one more time the giant geode. <laughs> My friend John is taking a, <laughs> a TikTok right now. Yeah. <laughs> It is awesome. It is, yeah, yeah, it is. Here it is, look at that. All right, everyone, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this in my bag. It's not too heavy. It's a, it's a bit light. I can do it. So, <laughs> thank you everyone so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Here's the, the giant geode. It's a beautiful selfie opportunity, to be honest. And it's a beautiful museum. Highly recommend checking this out. Uh, if you can't come in in person, at least consider giving them a, a five-star review on TripAdvisor or, or Google reviews. Even though the museum is already famous enough, they probably won't need it. <laughs> but that's the least you can do if you enjoyed this uh, live stream. Or come here yourself. It's a really awesome museum. Absolutely love it. It's gigantic. Uh, I've been here many times. There's really cool stories here. Highly recommend checking it out. Everyone, keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Into the galaxy we go. Ooh, actually, this is a perfect opportunity to play a special song. It'll play loud, though. Thank you.